Ah, uh, so far, like mm. from one history, I know my guy. How many cars have you bought? Mm, over a hundred. What's up, guys? I go by the name Mose Axe, and this week's episode on Drive with Mose Axe, I have this amazing guy, a car enthusiast from Nakuru. It was Prince Johnson. Mm-hmm. I'm a Empire 007. This guy loves cars. Like he takes all cars, converts them to amazing, amazing cars. Yeah. So I'm going to have a chat with him because we are going to drive around. He has some. Awesome, awesome cars. Of course, you guys have seen the guy in town, or you've seen his cars. His name is Empire. Yeah. If you see any car written Empire up on Bella Manuma, most of them they are old school cars, but the Metengenezo and the Koa amazing cars. Yeah. So, Karibu, let's go and check them out, and let's hear from this guy what he has to say. Um, this one is a, a Volkswagen Mark II. Mark II? Nine, uh, 1994. 1994? Yep. Where did you Oh, Yeah, yeah. So now uh, it's a 1400cc. 1400cc? Yep. Oh, it's a big car. Yeah, it's a, it's a big car. The, uh-huh. the, the maximum speed is uh, 220. This one? Yeah, this one. 220? German cars don't play with speed. Wow. Safety. Wow. Yeah. And it's um, <laughs> Chuma. Yeah. <laughs> Easy <laughs> so, Chuma. Um, I bought it in a, in a not so good condition. Mm-hmm. I got it from Eldred, mm-hmm. the, the guy who had was the first owner. Mm-hmm. Then uh, I bought it, brought it here, then worked up on it mm-hmm. until it got okay with the car. But it wasn't in a good state. It, it was a white car. And uh, you can now chop it, chop it off. You mm-hmm. wash it like for three hours for car wash until mm-hmm. it's clean, quite clean. Then you started working on it. Ah, uh, Alafu, mm-hmm. what's you with the color yellow? Because I think not, this is not the first car. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. now you're yellow. Yeah, yeah. You can get again. Toyota Celica. Mm-hmm. And uh, okay, yellow is a uh, is uh, nowadays yellow is uh, you know is being used most on uh, rally cars, uh, ama flashy cars and. I'm a girl, girl is gonna speed. Mm-hmm. So most of the time we want flashy colors mm-hmm. and also it's the new elegant because this one is actually this is not yellow. Mm-hmm. This is green. It's a green. Yes, in Itagua lime green. Lime green. But person who doesn't know about colors they would think it's yellow. Yeah, come yeah. on Mimi. Yeah, 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 that's it. <laughs> then uh, it has glitters in it. It's gonna glitters? Yes. Oh yeah, ah, yeah. okay, okay. Makes the car much more unique. It's mm-hmm. a very expensive uh, uh, color code. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mm-hmm. I do my, my fabrication and paint one uh, here. Mm-hmm. Then uh, that's why Killer Kitlas may talk perfect. Do you have any other project you're mm-hmm. working on? I, uh, I have so many po- projects because, uh, you know, car and the assist, they, they, they never stop loving cars. Yeah, sure. Uh, like right now, I think I have four four uh, uh, ongoing Nini uh, Kutengeneza. Mm-hmm. And uh, once they're done, Definitely, you still you still see them on the streets. Yes, so four. Yeah. You again, again, again. There's a, there's another Suzuki LJ80. Mm-hmm. I have a Mitsubishi Galant being uh, modified to become a Royce Royce Royce. Wow. And uh, I have a Land Rover 110. Then I have a Toyota uh, uh, Toyota Pro Box. Nakiria ni tengeneze kwe kama hama. Wow. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. So, no na pia kuna project ingine apa? This one is a. Um, to, uh, to move to up. This is a this is a this is a uh, Suzuki LJ80, mm-hmm. the pickup version. Mm-hmm. Mostly it's called LJ81. LJ mm-hmm. This one I got it in uh, some place in Dondori. Mm-hmm. It was uh, it's going to stall like for 17 years. For 17, 17 years. Good years. It hadn't it hadn't been used. And funny enough, it hadn't deflated the, the tires. In a high water. Mm-hmm. But though definitely it was not in this good condition, mm-hmm. I have uh, tried to you know work on it and still in progress. Mm-hmm. And um, definitely it will come out as a beast. What are you planning to do with this? Uh, this one I'm, I'm planning just to make it an, uh, an off-road uh, vehicle. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when I have to transport, uh, most of the time when I do car, car builds, I, I, I love buying engines anywhere I get them. Mm-hmm. So I'll be using mostly this one for transportation of you know materials when I'm building. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. So in your again? Uh, this one is uh, 1978. 
Ah, bro. Sika <laughs> pesa na kusumbua. Una buy gari ya 1978. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love I love unique cars, cars that you don't see normally on the road. Mm-hmm. So mimi atuwe tukabishana when it comes to classic. I love it classic <laughs> and rare. The oh. only the only new car I have is this one but um, I don't use it much. Oh. Yeah, that's why it doesn't have that logo. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, but uh, definitely this one is going to be a, be a beast. Mm-hmm. I've installed a, a, a K70 engine in there mm-hmm. and it runs. Actually it runs. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, naenda leo tukutengeneza tu pole pole. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh before twende kwa ile inapenda mm-hmm. is uh, a van mm-hmm. you had yeah, yeah. some the, time back the, the the Volkswagen uh, Combi uh-huh. I still have it but it's uh, I've hired it in it, it is in Lodwa Lodwa it's being used by some guys there Little That happy one I got it new uh, from uh, Kisi mm-hmm. it had stalled for 20 years mm-hmm. uh, the, the owner used to use it as a school van mm-hmm. then I got uh, I got it then uh, I towed it up to here with a breakdown mm-hmm. then I st- stripped everything everything from scratch interior engine work i have to change the gearbox and all that then paint work then install music system and all that so many things that and so many processes that uh, that ni mob to yani bro si una pesa ba ha si pesa okay mostly mostly it's not all about money mm-hmm. it's about passion because uh, actually my my first car i bought it at 16 years 16 years yeah i had saved some little money like 40k i bought it a, a, a ford cotna mm-hmm. then i came home with it then my mom was like wewe umekuwa mwenda wazi umeota wapi gari i was when, like wait yeah. uninua gari na 40000 yeah 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 back then i, I was in form 2 mm-hmm. and i uh, came with a car actually the, the guy who sold it didn't even give me a logbook i didn't even know about there is uh, some <laughs> I, I documentation just, I just when you're buying a car and left mm-hmm. so that's But, but my passion for cars started way back when I was a kid mm-hmm. and uh, I, I started driving when I was five years mm-hmm. I could drive using a caution na kala chini no nuke zu yeah yeah, yeah. And and I, I, I actually taught myself how to drive wow and uh, one time budanga kanipata nikiendesha I was like ebwende live vile uliko nafanya then he gave me the, 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 the you know the, the access to cars and all that wow yeah kwa hivyo tuseme like for you loving the cars <laughs> one of them really kwa like support from from your parents yeah definitely because uh, kama oh, 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 ka- angekuwa mbaya mwingine mbaya hiyo <laughs> siku ndio ningetembea na clutches kwa <laughs> hey, back then in the 90s you never used to ah, touch your bro ukotana tu na gari acha <laughs> gari tv yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah. it uh, but uh, he gave me support and uh, uh, without uh, without him I, i don't think ningeendelea na your passion because right now as a young we mefika it's not passion anymore it's like a calling Okay. I I'm addicted to cars. I buy them <laughs> each and every time. Each and every time I say uh, I'm not buying one, mm-hmm. I find myself buying one. Wow. Actually three of these I bought them last year. Na nilikuwa nimesema hii mwaka sitaki mambo ya gari hata kidogo. Hiyo ukiona mali hivi unasema ah lazima. Then uh, I always have crazy ideas but when I see a, a, a good project car I'll get it. Wow. Yeah. Hebu tufungulie it one ndani. Aha. This one is um tunasema ni gari mpya sasa. Uh, this one uh, I installed this one last week. Wow. This is yeah. a sunroof. Yeah, this is a sunroof. It mm-hmm. never came with a sunroof. Mm-hmm. Uh, I cut it up. I have those um, I have those machines for cutting mm-hmm. and uh, some of my friends thought I was crazy on a semana ribu gari mm-hmm. but eventually when they saw it they wakaona ina kapo. Wow. Yep. Okay. So there's the car. Nice interior. I have to I had to redo it. Wow, wow, wow. Ah. Iko na ngoma nyingine wazimu, you know like uh, let me let me sample it. I I, I love having music in my car. my cars uh, they have that crazy loud exhaust na kaga hivyo ju stakagi kushinda nikipiga horn so every when i'm riding mtu haikusikia tu ana unaondokea tu yeah wow mm-hmm. so uh now niko nataka ku save that one uh-huh. because i love that car uh-huh. like the, the the first time i saw that car i was uh-huh. like wow yeah 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 uh-huh. so now 
tukuja hapa mm-hmm. and i think ndio gari tunatumia kutoka nayo yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so igari uh, ebu niambie ni this yeah. one is a 1996 uh, suzuki samurai uh-huh. uh, it is a 1300 cc mm-hmm. definitely is not uh, it's modified mm-hmm. actually people don't know what kind of a car it is mm-hmm. uh, this theme is a a, a hammer Hama theme. Mm-hmm. Hama the the ones that the use yeah, these ones. With these. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, the skid plates. Mm-hmm. I've installed uh, uh, a heavy a heavy uh, bumper mm-hmm. and the LEDs mm-hmm. that makes this car look very much different from the rest. Mm-hmm. Also the the hood scoop mm-hmm. and I uh, have the the flat uh, roof rack. Mm-hmm. I like it like that because uh, when I go for safari rides and stuff maybe I'm a sightseeing I'm a Oh, you know, nakaa huko juu. Nakaa huko tu juu na viti yangu and sometimes you can actually pitch a tent there. Yeah, and sleep. And sleep there and you much safer. Oh. Yeah, much safer. Oh. Yeah, and uh, this one I, I got it um, I got it last year. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've changed so many things. Most, most of the time I like it uh, with the matte green mm-hmm. because of the off-road look. Mm-hmm. Even when it's dirty you don't see. Kitu kingine sasa. Tires. See the tires. Mm-hmm. Kiatu Mm-hmm. Ikiatu it is the price of a small car. Wow. The, 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 the rims and mm-hmm. the tires costed me around 140,000. Yeah. Which people see it's crazy but uh, when you love cars you have to put good shoes mm-hmm. and the, the, the you know the, the, the thing about it it gives it that aggressive look. Wow. And it's functional four wheel drive I can't get stuck anywhere. Mm-hmm. There is one time um, a, a, a lorry got stuck mm-hmm. and I used this Uh, this car to drive pull it out yeah and wow. it worked that ah. 100 cc it is in jezo in the runner now sai sai this thing is a beast Ndani naona ni red. Ndani theme yake ni red. I like I like red. Mm-hmm. And uh, I had to redo everything including uh, the roof. The roof. Uh-huh. This this material is so expensive. This one is Chinese. Mm-hmm. It's custom made. Uh-huh. It's so expensive and uh, yeah, it's a good car. So ili ku cost kama how much? Um, to restore it. To restore it uh, it costs around uh, around 400k. Unaweza uh, tuambia uli buy ngapi? Um Okay, I bought it at 180. 180. Yeah. Use if you're, 400 to do it the yeah, way it is. Yeah. If you are like just a normal Suzuki truck, mm-hmm. of course it had the issues I had to change carburetors, so many other things and stuff like that. That was no shortcut. Kama it's kama ni kiatu get the best. Kama ni music system get the best. Able able to jerry music here. The interior um I, I don't have the flash maybe I, I have to get it from, from sa, the other car. Sasa, sa, enter yeah, do it later. Yeah, to the yeah. Yeah. This one has a switch. Uh-huh. Uh, when I don't want bass, mm-hmm. I just switch it off. Mm-hmm. But when I want to go kicking and I just switch on the bass. Ulianza aje hii story? Um 
it started out when I was a kid there. Eh? Mm -hmm. But uh, Urajawa, as a kid, I had limitations. Yeah, sure. And way back 90s, see Kila Mkono. What's that? Yeah, for uh, So I had limitations, mm -hmm. and uh, of course, I had to get education and all that. Mm -hmm. So when uh, I finished high school, mm -hmm. I started uh, modifying cars. Mm -hmm. uh, those times, I was in Mangoma. Martins, mm -hmm. bigger my graffiti, but uh, with time the love grew. Mm -hmm. Then you can it's the the part yeah having the strongest car in terms of engine performance mm -hmm. and um, all that. Mm -hmm. Then I did it Evo weekend Evo, and um, actually the reason why Nakoga Neo number plate me Empire 007. Yes, it's a. Uh, it's a it's like a secret code mm -hmm. but uh, people have always speculated you know about the the number plate mm -hmm. but uh, today i can verify but it has nothing to do with the illuminati and stuff because <laughs> what one are gonna that's to remove, <laughs> yes, to remove yeah. yeah so now um the the, the, the word empire mm -hmm. it illustrates the bigness of a successful uh, thing that mm -hmm. you started from scratch yeah so that's the, the the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Then 007, mm -hmm. it's an inverted number. Mm -hmm. It's a 700 number. Mm -hmm. And that 700 number, uh, is my, my target is to own 700 cars. Oh. And so far, I mean, my like 100 and something. So there's some even cars I don't even remember the number plates. Mm -hmm. There's so, others like, I don't even like, have pictures. Like you've owned over 100 Over 100 cars. cars. Since when I start, I bought, for first bought mine, my, my, my first car in uh, uh, 16 years. 16 16 years. Mm -hmm. uh, back in, I think it was 1998, I can't remember the year. Mm -hmm. But uh, from that time, mm -hmm. oh, it went so far. I started exchanging cars like, sometimes I would even change like five cars in, in yeah, one year. Yeah. yeah. Zingine na nua na kanazo and I think the longest ni uh, shaikuwa na gari moja mm -hmm. um, I think five years five years and that's the Toyota Celica eh kare ka Toyota Celica yeah that yes. Toyota Celica ah, I think it's more than five years yeah, yeah it's crazy but that guy uh, was being used for a lot of songs in like four years or five years from now I'll get full time mm -hmm. into cars doing cars only full time yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's sometimes it's good to have a hobby that makes you money. Yeah, Because sure, it sure. propels you to where you want to be. Yeah. Uh, in, in 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 life. Yeah. So when you talk about cars, mm. tries were like cars mm. are quite expensive. Yeah, yeah. The most expensive car in mm. Yes. Uh, that that uh, it's a Mercedes uh, Mercedes one W one two four. It was uh, 3000 cc mm -hmm. and uh, it was uh, KJ. Mm -hmm. I, I, I bought it at uh, 700k. 700k? Yes, and, and I used like uh, 300 to buy rims, yeah, like you, to, you know, refurbish the interior, mm -hmm. the paintwork, and stuff like that. And by the time I, I, I sold it, it to me over a million. Over a million? Yes. Now, you use it? Um, funny, funny enough, that car I, I sold it for 1.3 PQ Evo, and uh, the guy at Takani Ongazia fits Kakadogo KKEY. Wow, yeah, that was the deal. <laughs> <laughs> so, your guy at least like twice the money, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time, I, I, all the time, I always sell for profit. <laughs> uh, the cheapest car, like here, mm. yes, like the lowest amount of money to me. I could know again 35,000. I bought that uh, Suzuki LJ8 in a scrapyard. Mm -hmm. I bought it for thirty-five thousand. Then so far, right now, I've used uh, around around one one fifty to one two hundred there, because I've installed everything new: the engine, gearbox, the the wheels, everything. Anybody wants like to venture into mm -hmm. this kind of like uh, business, mm -hmm. of course. We can, we can call it a business because at the end of the day, yeah, you're buying problem. these cars, yeah. you're modifying them, yeah, and uh, then you're selling them for, for, for profit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, Uneza mm. Mombiad. Is it, is, it, is it a good business? Okay, first of all, <laughs> this is like a calling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after 100 cars <laughs> and after perfectioning, 
uh, you know, uh, the art. all the art of loving cars and modifying them and all that. Mm -hmm. This is the time I want to go commercial about it. Mm -hmm. Because so many people bring me their cars for me to make them and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, But I, I lack time to do that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, first of all, mm -hmm. uh, you need to identify if you want to do it commercially mm -hmm. or as a hobby. Or you just want to have classic cars for your normal use. Okay. So if it is for your normal use, you can do that if you have money. Because mm -hmm. one thing, it takes a lot of money. It's Patience. An hobby. Yeah, and uh, and sometimes modifying a car it, it can even cost you one whole year. Because mm -hmm. sometimes getting these uh, rare parts, you get them from abroad. Others you buy them from a local. You can even I've even there's one time I bought a. Uh, uh, two scrappy cars mm -hmm. to make one whole car wow. so the two cars were for spares only mm -hmm. so it's a very expensive affair mm -hmm. but uh, if you have the will and uh, if your love for cars is just out of this world believe believe me you can take, you can make it oh yeah yeah, yeah nice. but it's not it's not for everybody yeah because yeah. again you, you might have interest but again you don't have the resources yeah sure for like for me i have a lot of tools i've bought over the years mm -hmm. i have a garage full of tools and machines and all that mm -hmm. it takes a lot of time to accumulate all that kind of uh, accessories actually my profession is not making cars mm -hmm. I'm an IT expert yeah. and I sell computers and stuff like that and so for cars I do it for a hobby mm -hmm. and that's why right now I feel I should commercialize it mm -hmm. because currently my hobby mm -hmm. pays me more than my actual job <laughs> so I think it's the wisest thing I'm going to do yeah sure, yeah and sure. uh, I love doing this and uh, yeah and making and getting the the, 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 the the happy part of doing this is like getting someone sick you you take them to the hospital you work on them then they they, they when I'm you, yeah when i'm going to your life then <laughs> this is the, the happiness of you know seeing somebody yeah yeah and uh it, it, that's the joy the joy part of it there's one there's one car that i made mm -hmm. sold it mm -hmm. and in four days i had to buy it back wow because i regretted it because everybody was like you made the car yeah. you sold it yeah. then you bought it back i bought it back and the guy was refusing to sell me the car, so I had to lie to him. This car, he may let a story in uh, the family or Mekata, and then they said, <laughs> if you are not going to bring back the car, they, they'll take me. They, they'll take you to court. So the guy was like, fine. If come and you basi, me ni ongeze 200k kwa pesa nyani likupatia, and I had to do it. Wow. Yeah, That's but actually, it's my friends who, who who gave me that kind of thing because when I told them I sold the car, everybody rebuked me, but and including my own mom. Yeah, Rudy say your guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the, the 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 most cheapest car in Shai Uza, mm -hmm. uh, not not the cheapest. Uh, I think I sold a car mm -hmm. for the same amount I bought it, mm -hmm. and I told the guy you can pay me in eight months now in in the in the cheapest domination you want. Guy, I'll go and do my back a thou, na punch. But I, I sold that car to him because I saw the the craziness he had for cars, mm -hmm. and he didn't have. I'll go from the phone, and me ni kano omse ile passion ni nyako na yo. Na ni vanda kuona kwa. This is like me, twenty years ago. So I was like, this guy, let me just make him his, his wish come true. Believe me, ni lumbade o gari. Now can you lipa pole pole later he actually the last installment I lipa miss kujua I have this vision of uh, bringing Nakuru car culture and uh, it's not it, it has never been done before but uh, I was thinking of grouping up uh, people with classic cars and all that then you form a group sometimes you can go for drives charity events you can be having workshops and uh, at least when you meet like-minded people, in a quagga much easier to grow up your hobby, and because uh, you'll find someone who has been doing this. I know of someone in Akuru who has been doing this for like over forty years, oh. and uh, right now Mutukamule and is quite very much uh, of of much use to cure in a group than Akio Pekeake. So at least those people who want to get into this culture, at least they'll have some person who you know who has experience and all that and uh, basically that's my idea and uh, the next uh, meet i think we have it by this end month i'll call you up guys
Minatembeaga once once, but when you find them in a group or in a convoy, you will feel the the, the thing. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sana. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, guys, that is it from us. Until next time, uh, drive with us. Bye.